that I was planning to say when I came out here, but I noticed something. We're all adults, right? Okay, who used the last of the toilet tissue? <laughs> Somebody used the last of the toilet tissue. It's a universal rule, no matter where you at, home, comedy club, if you use the last of the toilet tissue, you either replace it or you tell somebody. Am I correct? Yeah. So who used the last of the toilet tissue? And then somebody in here used the bathroom and didn't get no toilet tissue. Who are you? Somebody in here ain't wiping their ass. Somebody, somebody gonna be itching and twitching over here in just a second. You know, they just let me know. Keep me posted. Just watch the crowd for me, man. Let me see if somebody itching and twitching. You know, maybe you got a girlfriend here with you. I bet the girlfriend knows she's probably sitting there thinking, it better not have been you. If they find out it was you, because the woman knows, you know what I mean? But the male ego, the male ego won't let us reveal stuff like that. Any embarrassments, you know, the male ego is a trip. I was talking to my man the other day. He was looking at the TV and he was talking about figure skaters. And he was like, oh, look at him. He's so elegant. He's so sweet. I'm thinking a figure skater will beat your ass. You know what I mean? He's talking about, oh, he's man, I'm like, man, a figure skater kill you, dude. This is the dude that is like riding a unicycle through the streets of San Francisco with a rainbow umbrella hat on. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he's intimidated by much. <laughs> when we was kids and all the fellas was joining basketball, football, and whatnot, you know, this is the dude that signed up to be a cheerleader. He's been literally throwing women up in the air and catching them all his life. You know, a figure skater. You watch him, he's skating, you know? He throws the woman up in the air, and he act like he don't know she's supposed to come back down. <laughs> and he catches her on his neck, you know, and spins her around. Her oom is on his shoulder. She leaning way back here. You know how much shoulder strength you got to have to do that, man? Come on, man. Then she pivots all around his neck. He holding her like a gorilla. <laughs> Put her back down on the floor, you know. Pat her on the booty and she gone. Then he started chasing her, you know. I think you're scared of a beat your ass, man. <laughs> Crazy as hell. You run up on a figure skater. Think about when you was 14, 15 years old, sitting in the house with a broke down karate suit on watching Bruce Lee. Okay. Messing with them figure skaters, you're skating on thin ice. You ask me. You know, same dude, though. Got his ass whooped by the police the other day. And he talking and whining about it, you know? So we got high. <laughs> and I just looked at him and I'm like, do you think that Charlie Murphy is really Eddie Murphy with makeup on? <laughs> I mean, you see how he did in the clothes, you know what I'm just, you know, I, I don't know. You never see them dudes in the same interview, comedy show at the same time. Think about it. It's just stuff that I think about when I be high. You know? And then he got all serious. Come on, man, you ain't even listening to me. And I'm like, for real, man, you look, a modern day cop's ass whooping is nothing. You better be glad you we wasn't around in the cowboy days. Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday would have beat the shit out of you, Starsky, and Hutch. Would have tied all three of y'all to a tree or some shit. You know? Take the average cop today. Modern technology. Ooh, ooh, blue lights, you know, navigation device in the car, air conditioner, and 300 horsepower. Them cowboys back in the day, one horsepower, a flask of water, and a leather bag full of beef jerky and molded biscuits, riding across the desert looking for you. And they ain't gonna stop until they find your ass. Police today don't even look for you. They just put your picture on the internet and let somebody else find you. Yeah. Then they send 10 cops to beat and arrest the suspect. Them cows way back in the day, they would take you one on one. And they would give you a gun. Here. <laughs> take 10 steps, punk. <laughs> and if you survived the stoop shootout, they would still be willing to share their beef jerky and moldy biscuits. Police today ain't giving you no motherfucking donut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Police today, man, come on. Them cowboys, they would swim across the real river and make the horse swim too. You know? And then they had them long leather trench coats. You could use them trench coats for anything. A, a little raft, you know, a blanket, a tent, you know. You ever been arrested by a cop on a wet horse? <laughs> you know, I mean, that had to be a very humiliating experience. I mean, police today don't even pull you over when it's raining. 
Am I the only person that noticed that? And when it's raining, I'm good. You know, I mean, really though. Soon they're gonna pull you over and just speak through the bullhorn. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to text me a picture of your driver's license and your registration. I will text you back the results of my warrant check and your ticket. Or you can slowly walk to my car with your hands where I can see them. When you get to the car, he's gonna be on Facebook. He ain't gonna have no uniform on. He's gonna be sitting there looking like Al Bundy, you know? <laughs> Police back in the days. Uh, the cowboys back in the days, man, they used to be like fighting lions and tigers and raccoons. You know, lions and the Indians. Now you know you gotta have some balls to lie to somebody dressed like that, running around in the rain yelling like that. You don't run up lying to them, you know? Could you imagine being in a lawless land with a bunch of drunk-ass cowboys and a bunch of drunk-ass Indians? Come on, man. But I guess after you hit the peace pipe, it all makes sense. You know? I mean, they had to be high. I mean, how high do you have to be to think to yourself, I'm going to try to ride this bull. You know what I mean? I'm just sitting there. Yeah. I think I'm going to take the skin off this bear. Put it on the ground and call it a rug. Yeah, I'm going to kill that right cold and make me a hat. <laughs> no, don't, don't cut off the tail. Don't cut off the tail. I'm starting to get the munchies, man. What do you think we should do with this pig? Anyway, Kerosene Comedy, man. Look me up. Facebook, YouTube.